Hello, this video is to demonstrate the assembly of the circuit boards available from my site that are designed to take the classic John Lindsley Hood uh, K1450 preamplifier. Uh, that's a phono preamp suitable for either moving coil or moving magnet uh, cartridges with built in RIAA equalization. It's a, one, of the, one of the ultimate designs from the 80s. It's very low noise, high gain, and just one of the best all around. Uh, I would stress that this printed circuit board design is mine. The circuit design is the original by John Lindsley Hood. That's the circuit. which is unmodified from the, his original and the component values are exactly the same. The only difference is the type of transistors which can be a newer and even lower noise type. If you buy the circuit boards you will get a full component list. This is part one of the assembly video uh, just concentrating on inserting the resistors with the appropriate values in the correct places. The resistors I'm using are MRS25 series. Uh, they're a metal film, no noise type, which is ideal for high-end audio. Those are a pair of built ones. And this is a blank circuit board. I'll go through the resistors in order as in the parts list, which is in increasing order of resistor value or resistance. That starts with R13, which is 12 ohms. The resistors are, are approximately in numeric order from left to right on the board. There are 28 resistors in total. So R13 will be somewhere around the middle and it is there. I bend the leads to a reasonable angle uh, to retain the resistor and make them easy to cut later on. The next ones are two 47 ohm resistors, which are R23 and R24. Oops. To form them, you just hold it between thumb and forefinger and gently bend the leads approximately parallel. They should drop straight into the holes which are on uh, 0.4 inch spacing. So R23 and R24 are going to be fairly well across to the right hand side and they are there. I try to keep the resistor colour code reading in sequence either top to bottom or left to right. Uh, it, it looks neater and it makes it easier to cross check the values later on. The next ones are up to 82 ohms. I can find them, which are R8 and R10. Two one hundred ohms R one and R twenty six. One at the very left. And twenty six somewhere to the right there. One one hundred and twenty ohm 
which is R27. Again, one to the right. One one hundred and fifty ohm. R fourteen, just going somewhere near the centre there. R twenty five, six hundred and eighty ohms. Um, a five two point two K which are R three, six, eleven, twelve, and fifteen. R3 and 6 are fairly near the left. Eleven and twelve are also fairly near the left. They're one of the few that's out of order. Left to right. They're actually nearer the middle on the circuit diagram, but uh, it works out easy to put them there on the circuit board layout. And R15, which is going to be again somewhere near the middle, it's there. Next, two 3.9k or 3k9, which are R4 and R5, again to the left. to 5.6k, R17 and R20. Just to the right of centre. I'm working on a piece of folded kitchen towel, by the way. It avoids scratching the desk any worse than it already is. And also, when you turn the board over for soldering, it acts as a bit of a cushion to hold all the compounds flush against the board and prevent uh, any of those being scuffed. Next to 10K, which are R7 and R9. top there and a similar position towards the bottom. And R18 and R19 which are 15k. Now 
the bottom just to the center and the right of center. Forty seven K, which is R two, centre left. Eighty two K, which is R sixteen and R twenty two. R sixteen there. Twenty two just underneath it. And finally R twenty one and R twenty eight, which are one mega. They're well to the right. Okay, that's uh, part one. Part two will be cutting and soldering.